It's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for July 2024. So on July 11th, we have Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money moving out of Cancer energy and moving into Leo energy. So of course, if you have your Cancer season e-guide available, I am going to recommend that you flip to this particular chapter so that we can capture the shift, the change, the transformation of the heart space. So, of course, we've had Venus in this Cancer energy. She was a key factor, a star in the new moon in Cancer. In order for us to kind of pull out of being too nostalgic, too reflected, too attached to the past, and of course, we pivot, and now we're starting to build what is needed, what we've been lacking in order for our future selves to have a much better environment, much better emotional realm to actually depend upon. Now, Venus in that Cancer energy, we were very reminiscent of old relationships, of tough love life lessons, relationship dynamics where the familial aspect is concerned because of course that cancer energy being ruled over by the moon is our inner realm of emotion. The cancer energy stems all the way from the inner child work to the adult healing work that we must do in order to break free from that egoic programming. But where Venus is concerned has a lot to do with her happiness, her joy, safety, security, stability, not only in the physical realm, but in the relationship dynamics that we all choose to have. This particular energy was very introverted, meaning we had to go inward. We had to sit with ourselves. We had some epiphanies, some revelations that needed to be had before we were going to piece together some aha moments, some epiphanies on where the egoic programming had us acting out of our wounded self and where it is that we have to heal that particular part of self in order to step into our power, step into a completion, step into a wholeness in order for us to come out to play again. So basically, we were all up in the fields. We were really taking a good look at the lack of safety, security, stability in our lives, the lack of mutual love and respect and reciprocity coming from the people, the world around us. And because of that, we're figuring out what it needs to stay, what needs to go, who needs to stay, who needs to go. Now, Venus is going to be moving into Leo energy. This is the heart and soul of the Zodiac. We are getting real and raw and vulnerable and authentic with our wants, needs, and desires from here. The Leo energy, because it is sun ruled, means that this is our life force energy. There is a certain shift, a certain change that has taken place in our heart space that now needs to be fully expressed out into the world with the people that need to hear the change in our heart space, what it is that we want, need, and desire from here, what it is that we are and are not willing to tolerate from here, what it is that we have to do to build a realm of reality that not only looks good, but that feels good and is more in alignment with our higher self, with our soul's mission, with our soul's purpose. The sun is an extroverted energy while the moon is an introverted energy. We just spent the time inside of ourselves with that cancer energy. Again, moon ruled. Now we have to come out to play. Now we bust out of the shell-like capacity that cancer crabby season had us in. And now we have to really allow our heart space to lead. So we've had some revelations. We've had some light bulb moments. We have a little bit of clarity on what it is that we want, need, and desire. Or in some cases, we have some clarity on what it is that we don't want, need, or desire any longer. Venus now coming into this Leo energy, definitely going to push us out of our comfort zone. We're bold, we're brave, we're courageous, especially where our emotions are concerned. We are willing to be seen, to be heard. We want that kind of attention because again, we're coming out of the inner realm. We have to put ourselves out there to be seen and heard. We have to really express ourselves with a lot of confidence, a lot of clarity in order to kind of give an advisory to the people to the world around us 
on where there's been a major change within ourselves. Therefore, we are going to start seeing those changes manifest in our exterior realm. This could be boundaries. This could be tweaking the existing relationship dynamics. This could be an extra effort to kind of rectify, reconcile some of the dysfunction that we've identified in our relationships and in our familial exchanges. This could be a lot of things, but what we know for sure is that we are heart led. The Leo energy is big and bold and courageous and confident. It is the basic storyteller of the Zodiac. So we have a pain and trauma story that we are using that we need to kind of speak upon in order to build the foundation for the changes that we now know that we need to make to actually stand upon. This is a this is a climactic point, if you will, in the change of season that we are all now going through. So a little bit of a flashback here. Uh, side note, if you haven't listened to your July Zodiac forecast as of yet, you should probably do that and understand where some of these energies are going to be manifesting in your physical realm. Um, but basically, this is a flashback to August and September of this time last year. We had Venus in this Leo energy, but she retrograded in the Leo energy. And essentially, that is where the spark, the fire, the flame of this new version of self that has just recently come out to play here in our physical realms, that is where that soul, that spirit got born, got triggered, got activated. We've been taking our sweet Jesus time being able to bring this new version of self out to play. But here we are, as of recent days, bringing forth new wants, needs, and desires that, again, are more aligned with our higher self, with our heart and soul space. And we are definitely going to see that influence really come to life as Venus shifts into this Leo energy. So, of course, love is big and bold and courageous under this influence. It's grand. It is just full of potential. It's full of excitement. It's full of inspiration. Now, love is more than just a exchange between romantic partners. Love is that sensation that when you're in alignment with something that your soul needs to be connected to, that you are in love with it. You find peace and harmony and happiness in all that you're doing and all that you're experiencing. When you lose track of time doing a particular activity, you are essentially in the love stream. That love energy makes you lose track of time because you're really doing something that your heart and soul really enjoys here in the physical realm. So we all have to start thinking of love outside of the context of just romantic relationships and partnerships, because there's so much more to love and gen than just the physical exchange of emotions between two people who are romantically involved. Nonetheless, Venus is about love in the romantic sense as well. So we can see certain, let's call it romance situations pop off under this particular influence as well. Basically, we just want to take a little bit more pride in ourselves. We want to take more pride in what it is that we're doing, what it is that we're creating, what it is that we're building, what it is that we're bringing to life. We are open hearted, very generous, not only with our emotions and affections, but with our money as well. Venus rules over value, worth, money, finance. And so although this can be a warm, tingly type of feeling, we also have to make sure that we're not being a little bit extra, a little bit dramatic, because, of course, the Leo energy is, you know, looking for some attention there. We want to make sure that we're not looking for the wrong kinds of attention. We don't want to put ourselves out there and dangle our money, our worth, our value, our beauty, our love, our generosity in ways that are attention seeking for the wrong ways. We have to find that balance. So, of course, we are in a particular stage in the calendar right now where, again, uh, we're kind of learning that life has been serious as of late. We want to let our hair down. We want to have a little bit of fun. The Leo energy is that childlike, playful energy that many of us need to bring back to our physical realms on a day-to-day -day basis. And there's no better way to do that than to get in touch with what it is that brings you happiness and joy and pleasure. 
And so this is going to be a beautiful time to really have some fun, to really put ourselves out there, to really just listen to that heart space and what it is that we're being called to do, called to pursue in order to evoke these particular lovey-dovey feelings back into our day-to-day lives. Again, passion. Again, do you need to have passion just in a romantic relationship? No, you have to have passion in your creative endeavors as well. The Leo energy, very creative, because again, it's the life force energy from the sun that needs to be animated, needs to be expressed through the physical form, through this ego avatar that we all call our physical bodies. So this is going to be a particular peak in the cycle in which we're currently moving in. Again, we have some strong pulls to really invest our time, our energy, our attention into the people, places, and things that bring us the most happiness, the most joy, the most fun. 